So before you enter this chapter, you have to know what a quadratic function looks like. So we have known what a quadratic equation looks like. An equation means that there is equals to zero. This makes it a quadratic equation. And now we have to know what is a quadratic function. Quadratic function can either be fx or y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 2. These are both the forms of quadratic function. So quadratic function can be presented in two forms as well and both forms are very important. So the first form is the general form which I've said again and again in the previous chapter. So the general form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. And then we have another form which is the form that you get after completing the square. So this will be Right, this is the form that you get after completing the square and sorry there's no equals to zero here okay so there are two forms and why the form is important is because all the values here stand for something so for example let's look at the first form a the a in ax square plus bx plus c represents the shape of the graph so the shape of the graph can either be positive or negative so a can either be positive or negative if a is positive then the graph will be in a smiley shape and if a is negative then the graph will be grumpy shape and this a is not to be confused with another a this a is different but it also stands for the shape as well so this also stands for the shape and next we can see here C stands for y-intercept. C in the general form stands for y-intercept, but the K here does not stand for y-intercept. It stands for something else. But let's look at H. H here stands for the axis of symmetry. And then finally, we have K. K in this case will stand for either maximum point or minimum point. So why does it stand for either maximum point or minimum point? It's because the graph has two forms, right? It can either be a smiley face or it can be a grumpy face. So if it's a smiley face like this one, then you will get a minimum point but if it's a grumpy face like this one then you will get a maximum point so this is why k can either stand for maximum or minimum point and also what I want to say about h h as the axis of symmetry so you have to take x plus h equals to 0 and x will be equals to negative h this is the axis of symmetry. So for example, if you have a graph, x equals to negative h will be your axis of symmetry. And when asked to write about the axis of symmetry, your answer must always be in x equals to something. You can't just write, like say the axis of symmetry is negative 3, you can't just write your answer as negative 3 because that will be wrong. This is wrong. So the correct way to write axis of symmetry is x equals to negative 3. So something to remember also so that you do not lose marks. And I've already explained about k. So another important thing to note is the difference between 
point and value. So point means that there is x and y. So if you have x and y, it denotes a point. So you have x here and y here and you get a point. And then a value means that you only have y. y alone means value. But x and y means point. This is something that you have to remember because sometimes they will say find the value, sometimes they will say find the point. Point means that it is a coordinate, it has x and y. So it has x and it has y, so this is a point. Alright, so that's the introduction for this chapter. So let's go through an example so that you can understand better. So how this chapter will be asked is, they will give you a quadratic function so let's say this is your quadratic function fx equals to x squared minus 4x plus 2 and you're asked to draw a graph to represent this function so how will you do this so the first step that you have to do is to do completing the square so let's do completing the square x squared minus 4x plus b over a squared minus b over a squared plus 2. So the first part is you have to take x minus this square. So you get x minus 2 square. And then for the second part, you have to solve the end part here. So when you type that into the calculator, sorry, I missed a square here. When you type that into the calculator, you get negative 2. So in conclusion, the function that you get after completing the square is fx equals to x minus 2 square minus 2. So here you have the equation in two forms. One is the general form and one is the form that you get after completing the square. And both are also important. Why is both important? Because both denotes different things. So let's draw a graph and you have the x-axis and y-axis. Now you have to decide whether your graph is a smiley face or a grumpy face. So what do we look at? We have to look at A. So in this case, A here is 1, right? So it means that it's a smiley face. So you can draw this. And then the next thing that you have to know is the x-axis. So the x-axis, you can look at this, as I've said before. So, but this is not the answer yet. You have to take this equals to 0. So when you move it, x equals to 2. So label the x-axis x equals to 2. Okay, now you have a point here. And the next thing that we have to see is the y-intercept. Y-intercept means that, okay, I didn't label the graph. So this is x and this is y. So y-intercept means where the graph intersects y, which is this point. So how do you find the y-intercept? You have to refer back to the general form. You have to refer back to the C of the general form. So in this case, it's this one. So your y-intercept will be 2. And you can label here 2. And then the next thing that you want to know is your point. This will be your minimum point. So a minimum point, the value of x, you already know it's 2 and you can write it down. And the minimum value, you have to refer to the second form. And your minimum value will be this number right here. This will be your minimum value. So your minimum value will be negative 2. You can label here negative 2. And now your graph is complete because you have the x-axis, you have the y-intercept and you have the minimum point. So it's very important to take note of 
the difference between these and also these. So if it's in the general form, the C value will tell you about the y-intercept. This will tell you about the y-intercept. But if it's in the completing the square form, then this will tell you about the value of y. So take note of the difference. And so this is how the question will be asked. They will give you a function and they'll ask you to draw a graph according to the function. So let's look at another example together. Let's say they give you a quadratic function. This is, is the quadratic function given to you and you're supposed to draw a graph for this. So how can we solve this? First step is to complete the square because completing the square is like the main core of this chapter. You have to complete the square for questions regarding this chapter. First step, completing the square. So my advice is to remove the negative first to make things easier. So after you bring out the negative, you'll get this and you can complete the square inside the bracket. x squared minus 4x plus b over 2 square minus b over 2 square minus 7. So again, what do you write in the bracket? You have to write this and this and ignore the middle one. So the middle one you can just ignore. So you get x minus 2 square. And for the next part, you can solve this and get your answer. Once you type that into the calculator, you will get plus minus 11 as your answer. So you get minus 11 as your answer. And now you can open the bracket. Once you open the bracket, you get negative x minus 2 square plus 11. So this is the form that you get once you complete the square. So you have the firstly the general form and you have the form that you get after you complete the square. So now you can draw the graph. But the first thing that you have to decide before drawing the graph is whether it's a smiley, smiley face or a grumpy face, right? So to know this, you have to look at the A. So in this case, A is not 1, A is negative 1. So it's a grumpy face. So you can just draw this. Next thing that you have to find out is the x-axis. So to find out the x-axis, you have to refer to this. But not just refer to this, you must equal to 0. So x minus 2 equals to 0 and x will be equals to 2. So you can label this axis as x equals to 2. Draw a dotted line. And write x equals to 2. So next thing that you have to find out is the y-intercept. And remember for the y-intercept, you have to refer to the general form and not this. You have to actually re refer to this, the general form 7. So our y-intercept here will be 7. And then the next thing that you have to do is to find out the maximum point. So maximum point consists of both x and y. And x you already know, x is 2. And for y you have to refer to the completing the square form, which is 11. So you'll get 11 here. This will be your maximum point. So if you want, you can put a dotted line here. This will be 11. And another step, if it's a grumpy face, then it will surely intersect the line, right? So where does it intersect? You have to find that out as well. So it intersects the line at two places. You can also put in zero here. It intersects at two places. And how can you find this? Is by referring to the general form. Now you have to use the general form.